Welcome back to Ready Controls. The frontier where future of industrial automation becomes today's reality. In this episode, we are embarking on an exciting exploration of the future of PLC automations powered by Python scripting and RPA techniques. In this video, we're going to use the studio 5000 and python code and show how do we meet the demands of faster development cycles at the same time reducing the errors as everybody knows plcs have been the cornerstone of industrial automation for years but as the demands of the industry evolved so must our approaches so here at ready controls we are pioneering the transformation of plc programming monitoring and management imagine if you are setting up a setting up your tags for the new machine uh, in the traditional uh, model we had to manually program and create tags one by one now with a uh, little bit of python scripting we can transform the way how the tag will be created so let's uh, delve a bit, big, a bit deeper into how we are making this happen if you can see here this is my uh, studio 5000 i'm going to select a controller just give it a name rpa tags and we will go ahead and create a program and we'll finish it we'll let studio 5000 create that empty file So we have the, if you look at, uh, this is our program and we have the controller tags. If you just uh, double click and open right now, they are just the base tags, which are the local IO input and output. Let's create just one tag, uh, new tag. We call it um, RPA tag one. Okay. And we'll just leave this as we'll start with a bool. We'll just make it a Boolean and we say, say create okay, that tag is created now say in your application you have maybe 100 motors and you want to have a tag which represents the status of that motor uh, if the if the tag is one the motor is running if the tag is zero the motor is not running right so you want to do that and imagine if you had multiple sections of the machine and you have a main program for one area and then you have one more uh, program for other area so this would be like uh, area two So if you have area two and you want to make local tags, which is typical of uh, faster development is we try to use uh, local tags. So it's easy for modularity. So if you want to add some local tags and if you want to add some uh, global tags, um, rather than manually doing each one, what we will do is we'll go ahead and generate a new local tag rp underscore local we call it rp underscore local okay and just for this we will make everything boolean we create okay and we create one in area 2 also we call it rpa area 2 okay and we call it bool yeah now 
we will try to use the python script to create 100 motors in the main program 100 motor tags which are all boolean okay so to do that what we do is we go into tools we export tags and logic commands and we just save it in the downloads folder export we'll go and open that file and that's the csv file let's observe what the csv file has so far the csv file has just the remarks about the current program who is the owner and what time and date and version of the studio 5000 or logics uh, version of the plc firmware then it has these columns so you have a type column a scope name description data type specifier and attributes okay so now we like before this video we developed a python code which would open this um, csv file and add rows after row number eight it will create 10 or 20 tags however many we need and this script is a game changer so we wrote it in such a way that it prompts the end user for the tag type scope name data type and attributes allowing for the automated generation of the tags based on your specific needs this script is built for flexibility and user friendliness let's uh, take a look at the script so we close this file we just need to remember the path name and the file name so we will make sure we'll get all that captured so the file is located in downloads so we'll copy paste the whole path So here is the script so we just using import csv file and created some uh, created a function which will pull into the file path the tag name and all the other details which we need okay so we'll go ahead and run this code and we're asking okay enter the full path name of the file of the file location right so we know it's uh i'll just copy paste from the previous one and then typing it um did i do okay here just do this And the file name is. Let me pull this one. Just type the file name RPA underscore RPA underscore tag underscore main program underscore tags dot csv We just need to make sure we use the backward uh, spaces instead of forward. And 
then it's asking enter the tag type tag type is a base tag that's why we enter tag then we want to say it's main program that's the scope if you want it global just you could leave it blank it will create as a global and then we give a base name for the tag we said it's motor so we just give it motor and we want it to be bool and then we just copy paste this uh, radix equal to decimal constant equal to not equal to false external access read and write let's put a gap here And then we just enter how many we want say we want to create 100 of these motors Hit enter. and we want to start at motor number two okay so when we look go down and look at new rows have been added now we go back look at the excel file and look at the tags here you go it created all the tags all the hundred tags which we wanted to make so that's it that's a quick and easy way to use um, python to help de develop the tags faster without any errors and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to import all these into the Studio 5000. Okay. So we'll close this and now we go back to Studio 5000. We go back to Tools. Import Export. We want to import. Import Tags. And we go back to this one and we just leave everything the same. We'll create new tags and overwrite existing tags and we say import and all the tags are now imported in the Something did not work. Let's see what failed. Let's open the Excel file and see what failed here. The scope is main. We said motor. Main program scope. And, uh, let's see. Yep it's uh, missing the brackets so we need to give that bracket let's um don't save it we'll open that one and let me copy paste all the prompts separately that way it's ready to go for copy paste Addicts and 
yeah let's uh, delete all these lines you don't need to delete but I'll, I'll go ahead and delete and rerun the thing file save we close it we go back to the Python script and we go ahead and run this code here hit the run button we enter the path name we got that one right this time but um, we need the path so it would be we copy paste from the previous again it would be c underscore users with backward so we run that and just change everything to backspaces The file name is RPA RPA underscore tag underscore main program underscore tags. And we just say it's a base tag and we say they are main program and we say these are this time we'll use uh, lights example uh, let's use motor motor and we say these are all bool and we copy paste the radix the attributes and number of tags to add we say 100 and we start at 2 and it executed and tags have been created okay let's now open the excel file one more time check to make sure it did what it should do the python code and seems like it did everything the radix copied okay there so we'll close that one and we'll now try to import so tools import tags and logic <clears throat> and then we select the there you go all the tags are being uh, imported now so that's it uh, with a few keystrokes the script generates and appends new tags to the csv file this file can be imported and we we already shown all this so this is how um you could use python scripting to your advantage and it's it's part of our vision at ready controls is how do we bring robotic process automation to help expedite the development and also make it more efficient, error-free and enjoyable. As we continue to innovate and share new automation techniques, we invite you to join us on this journey. Please subscribe to Ready Controls for more tutorials, insights and tips that redefine the boundaries of industrial automation. Together, we we are not just following the future, we are creating it. Thank you for watching. Together, let's build the future of automation with ready controls. Please like and subscribe.